All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rachakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and salutation and much love to you. I came out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. This is the brother Ars from Great Millstone, Tampa. Uh, coming back with another video. Lord's well as edifying. It's going to be about the mark of the beast, all right, which is uh, the RFID microchip. And um, there's an uh, article brother sent earlier today. Uh, it was from a couple days ago. It says, uh, Swiss research is on blacklistednews.com. It says, Swiss researchers develop wearable miracle chip that eliminates bodily privacy once and for all. So, what they're doing is they're, pro they're, doing, they're programming people, all right? A wearable <laughs> miracle chip. Nah, it's going to be inserted in you eventually, okay? Via this, the Karox, which is the syringe. And I believe dude, that's why I believe uh, the uh, the jab they're giving out right now is a, is the is the the forerunner, so to say, preparing the people. All right, I don't, I don't think I don't personally believe that the chip is in the in the um the jab because the scriptures tell you they're not taking the jab in their hands or in their foreheads, you know. But this the the RFID microchip will be implanted via the Karox. Um. In your hand or your forehead, which will allow you to pay, make payments, all right? Because you you're not jab the jab ain't getting you payments. What are you going? You know that don't it don't make sense. You know what you can use. They've been using this technology uh, <clears throat> to pay. Okay, this is another web. Well, I'll go back to the other article. Uh, you know what? Let me get the scripture first because if you at this point, if you don't believe <laughs> that, that the mark of the beast is the R fighting market chip, you're an idiot. Okay, and the, and the Lord ain't dealing with you. All right, this is Amos 3 and 7. They say, Surely the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So, this is a big secret, but in, but it's been revealed unto the true prophets of the Lord, his servants. Okay, what the, the mark of what the mark of the beast is. How you how the how are you gonna not take it if you don't if you if, if you don't even know what it is? That it's that's stupidity, man. So somebody's got to know what the mark of the beast is, and here us here at Great Millstone always had it right. All right, beginning with our elder apostles on down. All right, the servants of the Lord. We've been telling you, we've been blowing the trumpet, telling you, warning you, okay, that the the RFID microchip is indeed the mark of the beast, okay. Revelation thirteen sixteen. He called it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. All right, you go into that word mark is uh, karagma or karagma, karagma, and that's the actual implant, the chip implant they're gonna put in you, whatever they're gonna call it, the near Neuralink. All right, that is that technology, the RFID technology. All right, that will be implanted in you. Okay, not just wearing it, because your phone has that technology, your car, your credit cards have that technology. But now, this has been going on for years, sorry, right, going on, what, well, this is Argus 1st, 2015, it says, Next Gen Payment Processing Tech, contactless RFID credit card. So, but now you don't even have to insert the card, you don't have to swipe it, you simply wave it over the, the, the machine, and through radio frequency, it, it, it makes the payments, okay? And what have we been telling you that these chips do? All right, in that verse 17, Revelation 13, 17, and that no man might buy or sell. Currently, how is the method of buying and selling done? There you go. When that's in your in your hand, <laughs> you can do the same thing. You didn't even have to touch the machine. You just put your hand, swipe your hand over it, and that's why they're doing this pandemic. All right, pushing this, this, uh, uh you, you can't touch money, and you can't touch this, you can't touch that. Well, it, it's contactless now. <laughs> so... You know, if you can't get it, we're moving on. It says, uh, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Which goes all into the, that the, that technology, man, the chip. Ultimate. All right, so uh, let's go to this. I'm just going to read a couple of things out of here that Brother pointed out. Um, here we go. It says, 
right here so you know where I'm at. It says these microchips are intended to eventually connect to the Internet of Things. Right, because everything is already chipped. Everything around you is already part of the Internet of Things for the most part. You got smart TVs, smart phones, smart uh, um uh, AC, smart coffee machine, everything damn near is, is connected to Wi-Fi now, all right? This is why they're pushing that 5G network, you know, more powerful signals. Why? Because you, everything's going to be digital, okay? Everything's going to be the, part of the Internet of Things, IoT, and you're next. It says a comprehensive ar array of devices which track and record us at all times from our homes to our places of work, okay? Go. Well, Something else the brother had pointed out in here too, but um, see, look, some people even have smart homes, right? So you're gonna be able to do everything, you know, remotely, you know, with a like with your chip. You're just gonna walk up to the door; it'll it'll unlock automatically. Okay, there's not gonna be a need for cars anymore. I mean, car keys. So this is what this man is is pushing. This this ideology of everything is is smart, digital, you know, but. It is what it is. Oh, here we go. It says the truth. The truth. The truth is that microchips are neither liberating nor far away. Several companies from around the world have already begun microchipping employees and ad advertising the process as more convenient and safe. And that's how Esau is going to present this. Mark going to be convenient and safe. He's not going to. He and then eventually, you, you, what, what you got? You got the world central banks right now. All right, as we speak, digitizing their money. All right, going to the cryptos, cryptocurrency. All right, so it's going to be a digital um, currency. All these nations, all these uh, banks are going to have. And once they say, "Look, we don't, we can no longer accept cash," what are you going to do? You're going to have to t use their digital money. And how are you going to be able to use it? Well, all, all, eventually, ultimately, is going to be through the mark of the beast. <laughs> no man might buy or sell. So the bank tell you you got to you got to have a chip. For, to use their money, then what you gonna do? This is what we've been telling you about. All right, uh, Revelation three and ten. Revelation three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So the hour of temptation is is, is coming upon us, man. So you you need to know what the the mark of the beast is. Because it's going to be upon the whole world. That's why the world banking systems are changing to currency, uh, digital currency. It's not rocket science, okay? It's very simple. Let's, let's go back to this. It says, not only are we being slowly encouraged to microchip and track our children, but the chip also eliminates a need for cash, which is why some call it the mark of the beast. Hello. Come on, man. You can't make this up. And you you got, you, this is, who, who, let's see who this is. About the author Philip Schneider. Philip Schneider know <laughs> knows about the market of the beast, but you, you got you simple as Jake's man that that are clueless. All right, it's it's clear, man, and evident that these microchips is eliminating the need for money, the, uh, physical money, okay, paper money, fiat currency. So now it's, everything's going to be digital, contactless, okay. And you know what? If you don't believe that this is the mark of the beast, what's going to stop you from taking it? Hmm? Yeah, you didn't think of that. Uh, let's go. And you're going you're gonna to eat a missile if you take that chip. So you, you continue to tell your congregation that the mark of the beast ain't the chip. You know what? The Lord's going to kill you and he's going to kill them. But that blood's going to be on your hands. All right. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image... And receive his mark in his forehand, forehead, or in his hand. So it don't matter where you take the chip, your, your right hand, your left hand, your forehead, all right, the back of your neck. It don't matter. You're still going to eat a missile. And ultimately, if you take one in your head or your belt, cheek, or whatever, what's, what's, what's stopping you from getting another one in your hand? So you, got, you might have the neural link to make you walk, you know, because they're talking about, they, see, this technology is going to be, it's, 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 it's far more than buying and selling, but that's what the scriptures uh, specifically pointed out as because that's how you're going to be able to identify it. But it, this technology has way more capabilities, man. You know, they're going to you're going to see people walking again. All right. It, it's going to, you know, Esau's sorcery, man, his witchcraft. All right. Just like in the time of Moses, 
All right, in ancient Egypt, where Moses performed those miracles via Aram, okay, what happened? Those magi, I believe they're called, or the witch, the wizards, whatever, they were able to, to replicate, you know, make the snakes, um, turn the staff into the snake, make the blood, the water red, but it wasn't on the level of the right hand power. You know, the left hand power ain't as strong as the right hand power, but they still is able to, you know, do these miracles, and that's what they're going to do. You're going to see a nigga walking again, okay, with the Neuralink, and then he's going to have a chip in his hand to pay. All right, there's this movie, Black, uh, not Black, uh, a TV series, um, and they showed um, this nigga with a chip in his head and two in his hands. Yeah, one, one in each hand and one in his forehead. And it, he called it NFC chips, which is the same thing, near-frequency communication, radio-frequency identification, okay? So it's, it's, it's sending signals, you know, which is, that's what, how it's going to be tapped in into the Internet of Things. But nonetheless, uh, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. So there you go. You're going to be burnt to a crisp. OK, very agonizing death if you take that chip. So if you want to continue to be ignorant. You're going to die in your ignorance. First Corinthians 14 and 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. You've been warned. And if you want to continue to play games with the Lord, you will uh, uh, you will um, receive judgment for it. OK, so listen up to the prophets of the Lord, which begins here at Great Millstone. And, you know, you got other camps out there that teach the same thing, but they learned it from us. OK, but nonetheless, the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Take it and die. Show on.